So at this point in time, Donald Trump is the only declared presidential candidate on the Republican side, and he's already threatened by a number of individuals when polls show he really shouldn't be, but still he is preemptively taking shots at potential candidates, namely Ron DeSantis, or as he would call him, Ron DeSanctimonious, which is a terrible name, but nonetheless, in an interview with AP, he said this about DeSantis, quote, if he runs, that's fine. I'm way up in the polls, Trump said. He's going to have to do what he wants to do, but he may run. I do think it would be a great act of disloyalty because you know I got him in. He had no chance. His political life was over. He also attacked DeSantis for trying to rewrite history with respect to his COVID-19 policies and claims that Florida, contrary to popular belief, was actually closed for a long period of time towards the beginning of the pandemic. So he's trying to delegitimize Ron DeSantis little by little. He's planting these seeds and it does seem to be working because this boost that DeSantis had after Trump was wounded following the election, it kind of seems like it's over. It seems like Trump has rebounded. Now, Ron DeSantis is going to have to make a decision. Is he going to allow these attacks to continue or is he going to respond? At some point, he's got to respond if he wants to run because he's got to kind of save face. And he did respond. So he was asked about these attacks during a news conference. And here's what he said. When you're an elected executive, you have to make all kinds of decisions. You got to steer that ship. And the good thing is, is that the people are able to render a judgment on that, whether they reelect you or not, DeSantis said. And I'm happy to say, you know, in my case, not only did we win reelection, we won with the highest percentage of the vote that any Republican governor candidate it has in the history of the state of Florida. He added, we won by the largest raw vote margin over 1.5 million votes than any governor candidate has ever had in Florida history. Yeah. So honestly, the more that Ron DeSantis speaks, the less convinced I become that he actually is capable of defeating Donald Trump in a GOP primary, because I want that to happen. I want DeSantis to beat Donald Trump, not because I prefer De DeSantis over Trump. In fact, I think that DeSantis is far more dangerous than Donald Trump, but I want to see Trump run as a third party candidate in the event he does lose to Ron DeSantis in a GOP primary. But DeSantis is making my dream of seeing that less likely because he's just not equipped to beat Donald Trump. I mean, sure, you can say that He's done a number of things to kind of set himself apart from Donald Trump. Namely, he outflanked Trump from the right with regard to COVID-19 vaccines, and he's very anti-vax. He wants you to know that. But aside from that, how else has he differentiated himself from Donald Trump? And the answer is he really hasn't. Even in his response to Trump, he's bragging about his numbers in a very Trumpian fashion. But I don't think he realizes you're not going to out-Trump Donald Trump. But he thinks that he can be, I guess, the heir to Trump's throne and out Trump Trump. It's just not going to go well if that is indeed his strategy. And he really needs to set himself apart. But thus far, he's failed to do that. Now, he is trying to, uh, I guess, appear as a sort of mini Trump. And I say that because when you look at the mannerisms, he's just directly trying to emulate Donald Trump. And it's so pathetic. But look at this video put together by The Recount. It's evident that... He really wants people to think of a certain politician when he speaks. Anybody here would do it. Project to get Judges are a priority. For, and honestly, honestly we have businesses that have been locked down and lives destroyed for over a year, basically say many, many no COVID vaccine passports made in China and shipped and here. And Why would we want so many do? important things Can we take them? to us be at the whim of they China? Uncanny. Now, I hate Trump's nickname of Ron de Sanctimonious for him, but... I've got to say that in his response to Donald Trump, he was pretty sanctimonious. Oh, well, I simply just can't fixate on these attacks from my opponents because uh, I I'm busy steering the ship. I'm the captain of this ship and Floridians rely on me to be a good governor. Bro, you're not a good governor. You're a terrible governor. What have you done to actually better the lives of people in Florida? He has been the country's biggest culture warrior, and he's been effective in that regard. But you're not actually doing a good job 
at looking out for the people of Florida. And I say this because people are literally dying in Florida because of his policy decisions. So take a look at this graph here. 2.6 million Floridians do not have health insurance. That's 12% of the state's total population. And that's higher than the national average of 8.6, which is still bad, but 12% is far worse. In fact, Florida is ranked 46 out of 50 when it comes to uninsured citizens. So why is it so bad in Florida? What can he do? Well, unilaterally, he can improve the lives of millions of Floridians by doing one thing, but he refuses to do it. The simple, straightforward reason so many Floridians have no health insurance is that its elected officials won't sign on to the Affordable Care Act's Medicaid expansion, which offers states extra federal matching funds if they make the program available to everybody with incomes below or just above the poverty line. Most states have now done just that. It's the single biggest reason that the uninsured rate nationwide is at a record low, but 11 states have held out, leaving in place the much more limited eligibility standards they had established before the Affordable Care Act took effect. Florida is one of them. Childless adults in the Sunshine State can't get Medicaid unless they fall into a special eligibility category like having a disability. And even adults with kids have a hard time getting onto the program because the standard income guidelines are so low, about 30% of the poverty line, which last year worked out to less than $7,000 for a family of three. That's not enough to cover rent, food, and other essentials, let alone buy a health insurance policy. And again, Ron DeSantis can change this like that. All he has to do is put partisanship aside and expand Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act, but he refuses to do that. So while he continues to try to build up his national name recognition, while he hyper fixates on supposed woke policies in education in Florida, Floridians are literally dying. So he has the audacity to posture as if he cares about the people of Florida and he just can't fixate on these attacks from Donald Trump because he's busy as the captain steering this ship. No, motherfucker, you're not fixating on anything but yourself. You're unserious. You're a clown. Now, Donald Trump is a clown, too. But Ron DeSantis is actually trying to position himself as a more serious alternative to Donald Trump. And in some ways, I think that he probably is going to be more effective than Donald Trump in the event he were to get into the White House. But still, everything that we see with regard to his politics has been political theater. But yet he wants you to look away at all of these culture war things that he's done. Sure, you may be winning the culture war, but that comes at the expense of the lives of people in your state who you refuse to help all because you're a partisan hack. So that's who Ron DeSantis is in this fight between him and Donald Trump. Unfortunately, I'm backing the lesser of two evils in this instance, which is Donald Trump. Now, again, I hope that DeSantis defeats Donald Trump in the GOP primary. That seems unlikely, but I just want to see Donald Trump burn the whole ship down with him if he runs as a third party candidate. But it just seems like he's not doing enough to differentiate himself from Donald Trump. He's just copying Donald Trump and failing to do that. And as a result, He's just going to go down in flames, but we'll just have to wait and see. Either way, I can't fucking stand Ron DeSantis, and I think that that's pretty evident based on what I've said about him. He's just so insufferable, so whiny, so smarmy, and he just he doesn't have that authentic anti-establishment appeal that Donald Trump has. He's not an outsider. DeSantis wants to have this facade that he's an outsider, but in actuality, he's one of the biggest insiders in the game. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.